Hello there. Today we're going to explore the concept of damage multipliers in Diablo 4 and how you can optimize your build to deal the most damage possible. We'll look at some old concepts for new players, some new concepts for you Diablo veterans out there, and then talk briefly about the best way to optimize these multipliers. Before we get stuck in, let's just define a few base terms you may see associated with damage in Diablo 4. Weapon damage is the base for most of the damage within the game and predominantly comes from your weapon and offhand, though there are other ways of increasing weapon damage as shown here. Thorns, however, is different in that it considers the base damage as the damage you are taking and does not factor in the weapon damage at all. Close range damage is defined as damage to enemies or from enemies that are within your melee range. Anything outside of this is classed as distant damage. Some skills, aspects and item rolls refer to healthy or injured, with healthy meaning the health value is 80% or greater and injured being 35% or lower health. There are many different status effects within Diablo 4 which are classed as crowd control skills and these can be applied to both enemies and players alike. Chilled enemies have reduced movement speed and if they are repeatedly chilled they can become frozen. Dazed enemies can't attack or use skills but they can still move. Enemies under fear are prevented from moving or taking any actions as they run away for a short period of time. Frozen enemies cannot move or attack. Immobilized enemies are prevented from moving but can still attack and use other abilities. Enemies that are knocked back are pushed back outside of melee range preventing them from taking any action against you. This is different from knocked down where they are prevented from moving or taking action for a short time as they are knocked down. Slowed enemies have reduced movement speed. And then finally, stunned enemies cannot attack, use skills or move. With some of these effects, it also affects your ability to use things like health potions. However, if you have a skill which allows you to have immune or unstoppable, you can use that skill during these and remove all of the status effects that are applied to you. Some skills, aspects and item rolls will adjust damage based on having these crowd control effects applied. Critical strike chance and critical hit damage work hand in hand, with critical strike chance being the chance to perform a hit which then multiplies your damage based on your critical hit damage percent. When you perform a critical hit, the damage numbers shown will be in yellow. Now new mechanics to Diablo 4, Fortify. Certain skills and aspects will grant you an amount of fortify based on your actions in game. Once your fortify amount is greater than or equal to your current life total, you become fortified and when fortified you take 10% less damage. Vulnerable is a status which can be applied to both enemies and players alike by way of specific skills and legendary aspects. It multiplies damage done by a percentage which has a base of 20% but can be increased with item rolls, legendary aspects and passive skills. An enemy with a purple glow around the health bar is considered vulnerable and if you are currently vulnerable, your health globe will have a crack in the center. Overpower damage is a separate damage multiplier which has a 3% chance to be applied. It increases your damage based on your remaining health and fortify values and then multiplies this by your overpowered damage percentage. Unlike other chance on hit damage multipliers, the only way to increase overpower chance is through using specific skills or legendary aspects. Overpower hits will display as blue damage numbers and when you have an overpower hit that also critical hits, the damage number will be orange. The final point to note is that damage modifiers on weapons and skills, where it shows as a plus and then a percentage, it is an additive multiplier. That is, that percentage is added to other percentages. Where it's an X or a time symbol a hit before the percentage, then that means it is multiplicative, which is a multiplier. So if it says times 10%, then to get the damage number, you would times it by 1.1, which is an additional 10%. Great, so now you know a little bit about the damage modifiers within the game. But how does this all work together? Some excellent work by another YouTube creator, Goblin Inc., has demonstrated how damage in Diablo 4 is broken into different buckets. If you want to get into the fine detail about how this was figured out, I'd recommend giving their video a watch. They put a lot of effort into figuring things out and massive kudos go to them. A link is in the description. I'm going to paraphrase it though and tell you that essentially damage is grouped into buckets based on the damage text. So for example, does the damage say damage versus or damage to? Well that all goes into one bucket. 
Is it critical hit damage that is in another bucket? Vulnerable damage in, into another bucket and so on and so on. And in fact, there are this many buckets. Anything that falls outside of these goes into the all damage bucket. So now we have our various damage modifiers grouped together into buckets. We need to calculate what the damage's output is going to be. So first of all, we calculate the damage for each bucket. And we do this by adding together any additive multipliers and then multiplying together any multiplicative multipliers. That's a mouthful within that bucket. We then end up with a number for each bucket. Now each bucket multiplies with each other bucket. Now this sounds like a really complicated thing to try to get your head around and if you've managed to understand it then great you're on to a good start. What does it actually mean though in terms of how do you optimize your damage? Well it means the best way to increase your damage is to do two things. One try to focus on multiplicative damage modifiers on your skills and items and aspects. And two, try to have as many different buckets filled as possible. Doing this means you are making use of multiplicative damage rather than additive damage, which means that your damage output will be maximized. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and useful about Diablo 4's damage mechanics. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment below to let me know what are the topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.